Okay, so welcome. In this lab, we are focusing on using Path Analyzer Pro. So I've already loaded up my VM, and it's typical for people not to have it. So if you don't have it, one thing that I would suggest is you could download it, and you can download it from pathanalyzer.com forward slash download. And we're looking just for this one right here, or well, that's for Mac. This one for uh, download for Windows 7, uh, it's version 2.7. That will work. I went ahead, I've already downloaded it and downloaded a lot of the module tools that I already am going to need. And for me, I saved them in specific folders, modules, tracer app tools, path on either pro, and here it is. Again, 2.7. That way we can make sure that we're using the correct version. So go ahead and install it. I want to install it for everyone. Unsure. So the reason I point this out is because Path Analyzer Pro on VMs is uh, kind of tricky. You may get a uh, UAC pop-up. Sure, we want to install. It will give you a warning. It will give you uh, walkthroughs. And I am ready to begin. And you'll notice no shortcuts on the desktop. So start all programs, Path Analyzer Pro. And here we are. We're going to do evaluation. And this is our main screen. We're going to be sending an ICMP. We could randomize our ports. We could manipulate the length of a packet. And for our needs, we're not going to. We could uh, do a work ahead limit for our TTL. That's five. Our millisecond scanner is going to be fine. All of that should be fine for our initial environment. So our goal is to see if we can do a, a one-time or a timed trace, not a one-time trace, but a one-time, but an actual time trace to Google. So our target should be google.com. We could do a one-time trace or a timed trace or a continuous trace. For us, we want a timed trace. And that's really it. Once you're ready, click on trace. We could set the actual limit. For our environment, we want no more than three minutes. If you get a raw socket error, I've noticed that in VMs, this happens. So what I suggest is do not download this in a VM, but actually download it on the physical machine. And that is the fastest way to solve this problem. Okay, so I went ahead, I downloaded my real machine, not my virtual machine. And again, go through the settings, double check that they are the ones that we want. And what's really funny is I've done this numerous times. Sometimes the VM works, sometimes it does not. So I figured instead of trying to troubleshoot exactly what's going on, I figured the simplest way is if it doesn't work in your VM, just... Okay, so I've noticed a few things. If I do this in Windows 7, I get a raw socket error continuously. Uh, but I did notice that if I do this in XP, it works fairly well. One thing I have noticed is that if I try doing this through a virtual machine, I'm just going to leave one time trace up for now. If I do this, and my physical machine's firewall is left on, I get some weird behavior like this. And nothing comes of it. It just, this is our output. And sometimes, you know, that's okay. But I want to rerun this scan with my firewall turned off. All right, so I just turned off my firewall. I'm going to retrace it again, but you'll notice I get different responses now. 
one through or two through six now actually truly respond. And I actually get to see a report of where they're coming from. Latencies and minimums and loss and network name and ASN numbers and some really good detailed information. So I'm going to go to Synopsys. Synopsys is going to let us know that, hey, for Google, we actually had a bunch of addresses and it let us know that we're just using the first one. So they give us routing information, they give us registry and interception information. If we go to charts, again, we get a nice, see, a nice looking chart with latencies. If we did our geo, we'd actually get a map. I'm going to zoom in. Happens to be that my provider has to go to Washington before it actually goes out to the internet. So I'm going to mouse over our destination. Mouse over this destination. It happens to be that Google's over here. So in actuality, I went from Las Vegas, Arizona, from Arizona to Washington. And that's where my address was resolved. And I could also double check logs to see information about uh, ICMP, their, their time to live, their sequence numbers. So some really good detailed information here as well as latency times and things of that nature, how many hops. And then last is the actual stats. So I want to try this one more time. I'm going to do it to Amazon.com. Again, my firewall is left off. I'm going to trace the route to Amazon. And fairly quickly, I get, I get responses, and sometimes some detailed responses. And it, I'm getting a no, uh, res, res, no response after a TTL of 14, and that's okay. And again, just like Google, Amazon has several IP addresses, so it's letting us know it is only using one, and that's okay. Next, we're going to go to the routing and the registration. It doesn't know who the registra uh, registrar is for Amazon.com. It also doesn't know the best point of interception. Charts, we see uh, the actual latency. Geographic, same thing. Happens to be that my provider has to go to Arizona, then back east. I have Cox, I forgot the Cox's main exit point and our region is Arizona. Logs are logs and stats are stats, but we can keep typing in information and keep tracing. Last one I'm going to do is going to be csn.edu. It happens to be this, one of the primary schools that I work at. And it should run for about a few minutes and then should start giving us results. All right, that ran less than a minute, gave us results. Again, the synopsis happened to be we have one outside ISP or one static address. I happen to know that that's our primary ISP. Charts, same thing. Latency between my PC and my actual first hop. And then outward. Geographic. We actually have to go from my location to Arizona. I'm going to assume LA for some region. Yep, LA up to Reno. And from Reno down. Happens to be that I know that CSN is part of the Nevada edu system and our exit point for CSN's addresses is up in Reno. So this type of tool we can use to see a, a graphical traffic flow or path uh, analytic tool. That way we can see how things get to, from where they're going to actually where they're going. So it's a nice graphical tool.
And that's actually it for our Path Analyzer Pro. Thank you.